They call me the juice when I'm at the strip club. I put down a hundred or a dub. It'll match to a player, I'm a stub. There's one of you who cool, I'm a father. You ride with the man, you be giving up the brain. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Kevin for the one here and uh, today's tutorial is how to update your RGH slash JTAG to the newest dashboard aka 16537. <coughs> uh, I'm sick obviously, you can tell. Um, so this video is probably as easy as it's going to get for you guys so I'm just going to straight up explain it and right now you can see I'm on the new dash, you can see the dark green text and shit. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you some downloads in the description, and one of them is going to be Flash 360. Now, if you have all your original NANs and shit on a uh, D yeah, DVD uh, disc, then you don't really need to do this part, but if you want, then I suggest you do it, because I did it this way, so it's the safest, easiest, and this is the way I'm doing it in the video, so, um, so download Flash 360, it'll come in a RAR file, and yes, you're still looking at XCX menu, it's not a lag or nothing. Then create a folder on your computer called Flash 360, then take everything out of the RAR file and put it on the folder. And when you do that, plug it, put it on a USB, put your USB in your RGH or JTAG console, and go move it from your USB to your main hard, or, yeah, from your USB to your hard drive. And when you get there, all you will see is this. It'll say media, readme, and flash 360. It will not show flash dump or UPD flash. So, uh, what you're going to do now is click flash 360.xcx. Uh, if you can read down at the bottom, it says hit X to back up current NAN file. Yes, you want to do that. Click A to save. So, it's XA. And then it starts loading. And if it gives you an error, like it'll say cannot read BB or whatever. It'll, it should restart and do your progress. Some people it's fast, mine it's real slow. It took me like 10 minutes to wait for it to get to 100. But uh, yeah, so you can see in the video it's going to take 100. Or it's going to take a while for it to get to 100 again. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'll resume when we're done and what it'll show you. Alright, well, uh, when you're done, it should just say you're done. I don't remember. I didn't sit through it again because I don't have to. Uh, but it'll say you're done or whatever and it says do you want to return your main menu and it should get to 100% and be completely done that's how you know uh, so I'll show you real fast what should be going down if you got this straight up right uh, go back to your flash 360 and now there will be one extra and it should say flash DMP dot bin right here uh, remember UPD flash won't be there yet so uh, it should this should be the extra add-on all you do is copy this and go to your USB which I currently don't have plugged in and just straight up paste it. You don't have to paste it in nothing, a folder or nothing, just paste in your USB and uh, take your USB out of your RGH or JTAG and plug it in your computer and we'll start from there. Alright so now that we're on the computer part <clears throat> what you want to do is plug your USB in if you have not um, and then simply open it. So here's mine. Forget that ups in here. Just here's your flash uh, that you threw in here. So all you're gonna do is drag that to your desktop, and it'll pop up right here. Then just minimize this. Uh, now you're gonna go to your other download link. I give you XE Build. Uh, go all the way down. XE Build GUI 2.0 XEX. Minimize this, and it'll load itself. I don't know why there's three open. What the hell? Alright, and this will pop up. So, uh, all you gotta do if you want is drag this from here to this source file up here, and it'll paste it and do all that. Or if you want, you can click open, make sure you, uh, when that screen pops up, this. Make sure you uh, scroll up, click desktop, and scroll out and find it. It don't matter which way you want to do it. So um, after that, it should pop up with all your stuff that you need. I don't know if it pops up your build type or if I already had that selected. But if it doesn't, make sure you know your build type. Mine's a 1.0 instant boot. It just on here, it's 1.x. But uh, yep, and it's a Jasper BB256, which I looked on my disc that has all my shit on it 
But uh, yeah, if you do have a disc that has your all your NANs and all that shit, that's the easy, easy, very easy way. But uh, it's just an easy way to get your shit. If I was you, I'd still do the Flash 360 just to be 100% safe. And um, yeah, so before you continue with this tutorial, I'm not responsible for you breaking your RGH, Xbox, JTAG, any of that shit. But uh, after you do that, now you go down to your CPU key. Man, I sound like shit. Which I have on my CD. So I'm not gonna... Oh, if you don't have a CD either, for your CPU key version, all you have to do is hold down, like turn your RGH or JTAG off. Let it sit for like two seconds, then hold down your eject button until this big blue screen pops up. Then a bunch of shit will start loading, say Zell or XELL, and then it'll pop up DVD key, CPU key, ETC. That goes off your screen really fast, so I suggest you record it so you can play back or take a picture real fast, some shit. So, uh, I'm gonna get my CPU key, censor it on the video. Alright, exit, exit paste everything else will unlock you'll see just don't fuck with this it should automatically fix itself and if it's all good at the bottom be green check marks if something's bad for some reason it'll be a red X uh, so far they don't have the kernel version updated so you gotta go down to custom and type it in uh, which shit what is it fucking called I had to look up so many videos to find that might be out of my recent videos. Uh, yep, here it is. I had to look up two videos just to make sure that was the right dashboard. Alright, well, paste this here. It'll be in the video title. All you gotta do is go to video. Remove the space if it gives you one. And, um, easy as could be, click generate. A bunch of shit will load over here. Some people it's instantly, other people it takes like fucking five minutes. Uh, see, V, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I might get an error. Because I already did it, obviously. Alright, this is, do you want to leave this open, yes or no? If you fucked up, it does not matter if you leave it open or not. It is not going to be able to fix itself like that, so I always click no. I don't want to leave it open. Uh, and what will happen is you'll get this pop-up. It'll say, up D flash dot bin and this fucking thing. Which I didn't mean to open. But, uh... It'll give you up D flash dot bin. What you're gonna do is open your USB and drag up D bin in there. You can use you can leave your flash DMP in there still if you want. But I uh, just drag this in there, and now we're gonna go back to the hard drive. All right, now that we're back on the hard drive, um with your USB, let me actually plug that in. It takes a minute, so let low guys. <clears throat> it's a big uh, external hard drive. I have it set up so it could keep more memory so it isn't instantly loading. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over the bad news real fast while it's loading. I got a copyright strike from fucking rockstar because I uploaded some leaked GTA 5 footage lucky subs got to see for the strike did so I might not be able to get partnership anymore so I don't know how my TV show series is gonna work out on YouTube hopefully they don't get take it down or nothing I hope I get to keep it and honestly hopefully I get to keep uh, my fucking partnership if I can't well I understand that TNG wants to save herself that's perfectly fine but I I like them, so hopefully I get to stay with them. That's honestly the last thing I'm uploading ever. That fucking copyrighted. But uh, yep. So scroll down if you have to, which I did, and you should see UPD flash dot bin on your uh, your um on your uh, USB. All you do is copy it, go over to your hard drive, go to Flash 360, and just straight up paste it. And once you're there again, open up Flash 360 at XEX. Click A, B, back, and if a, like it keeps a message keeps popping up your screen, which it did for me a few times, just read it, and all it's doing is saying information. 
and uh, it takes a minute for it to load. It doesn't pop up the message and just keep uh, reading what it has to say, like such as the back button or whatever, and it should be on your screen if you did it right. But uh, yeah, and now later on, after it's done completely loading, it'll say, I think it's either press A or press X to start countdown timer. I don't want to do this again, so I ain't trying to brick my RGH. I'm already updated to the new stash, as you can see. But, uh, so you'll see countdown timer, and it says, uh, something like, it starts counting down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And what you want to do right when it gets to, uh, well, yeah, when it hits 1, it automatically shuts your RGH or JTAG off. So what you want to do after it automatically shuts it off is unplug everything. And, uh, I literally took the safest route I could think of and unplugged everything. I unplugged the power brick, which you're supposed to. And for extra protection, I unplugged my Ethernet cable and my AV cables just to be straight up safe. Um, and after you unplug all that, count to 30. Not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Go 1, 2, 3. That's as safe as you can take it. And then plug your uh, power brick back in first and your AV cable and your Ethernet cable if you want. Turn your RGH or JTAG back on, and if you instantly had like, uh, what was that dash? Freestyle dash or something on, like I did, it should just load to the regular new Xbox dashboard because you don't, your uh, dash launch is not supported, and you have to download the newest one. Um, I'll put download link in the description whenever they release it, but uh, yeah, so it'll take you to the newest dash and it'll ask you what account you want to sign in on if you have more than one like me if you don't should automatically sign you in then to be hundred percent sure just hit the center button of your controller if that cursor is a little greener and the uh, gray is a little darker well you did it and welcome to the new dash and welcome to waiting in line for everybody else to catch up the programmers and stuff such as dash launch people and so on but uh, I'm going on a fishing trip, so I don't know when I can get this video uploaded. Hopefully before I leave. If I can't, I'll come back September 2nd and I'll upload it. Um, so remember to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. Um, if you need any more help or anything, or if you want to do it like for sure, you know, just hit me up on Skype. It's coming for the win. Um, hopefully I keep my TGM partnership and stuff. And this has been my first tutorial. And guess what? It worked perfectly for me, so if you do it just how I did it, or if you want extra help, contact me on Skype, like I said, and I'll try to do it for you. This has actually been my first ever dashboard update that I've ever did by myself. I've sent them in way before just to update them, believe it or not, just to get the dashboard updated. I'd pay to send it in, but uh, yep, you can see I'm on the dash. I don't know how long this video is, so uh, yep. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. And